Well, there's no better place to celebrate the new year than on the Atlantic coast here at Miami Beach. I'm Ryan Pincy for your Seminoles.com game preview from the official team hotel as Florida State prepares to take on Northern Illinois in the 2013 Discover Orange Bowl. For players like Lonnie Pryor, this is a special opportunity. They'll close out their career inside Sun Life Stadium on Tuesday night in what will be their only BCS game appearance. And they don't want to take that lightly. We never went to a big bowl. This is our first um, BCS bowl and um, down in Miami, South Beach. You can't beat that. So um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good time. So I'm glad this is my last year and I'm going out and doing it with these boys. I've still been thinking about it like a national championship level. It's been a while since this university itself has played in the BCS game. So we're just looking forward to it. Happy to win the ACC and put our school back on the nation. I mean back, you know, in that talk about ACC champions and stuff like that. I'd say in the beginning of the year, if we didn't go to any type of championship that I would feel like that but uh you know thankfully we really came through in some tough situations and we were able to pull it out so you know I definitely feel accomplished I feel like this was a great season I feel like I had a great career here you know it's just everything just worked out for the best we haven't been in a BCS bowl game in, in a few years so so it's great to be back there you know that's where Florida State should be at in a, in a BCS bowl it's going to be fun we're, we're looking forward to going down there and hopefully bring it back to the Owens Bowl. I mean I've played in two bowl games but uh, this is my first BCS game and uh, it's pretty exciting uh, going to Miami and uh, I mean winning the ACC championship was definitely awesome uh, I've, I hadn't won a conference championship before and uh, yeah, so I'm kind of just taking everything in stride and trying to absorb it as best I can just so I can enjoy it uh, as much as possible. Florida State defense is not taking Northern Illinois lightly. They have a lot of respect for the Huskies who won the MAC championship by defeating Kent State in double overtime for players like Bjorn Werner. They know just how difficult a challenge it will be to slow down the Husky attack. They're 12 and 1. They won games. You know, they, um, they beat some good teams and. Hey, what can they? They're twelve and one. It's, it's so you you can see how hard it is to win games. We lost two games too, and um, it's college football. You know, like everybody in the perspective conference, they're on the same level. And if you go almost undefeated like a whole season, that like you, you have to respect that. We just got to play to the best of our ability. Whoever we're playing, I mean, I looked on film and I mean, I didn't look at any, their special teams or anything, but looking at their defense, they're a well coached team. They're always where they're supposed to be. And they have some athletes on the defense, so I mean, I, I don't know why people would say they're a bad team. And if if you have wins and you're in the BCS, you're you're not in the BCS for no reason. I mean, you're there because you're a good team. So, I mean, we just know that we can't look over them. We have to play to play our FSU ball and just know we have to play to the best of our abilities. They won 12 games. I think they lost their first game and they won uh, 12 in a row. So I mean, they're on a hot streak and um, they, you know. They've they have a great quarterback. Their defense is solid. And uh, the first couple practices, we kind of just been focusing on getting back into football shape. And uh, we're starting our heavy, uh, heavy game planning practices starting tomorrow. But um, I mean, yeah, everything's been geared up towards uh, Northern Illinois, and we're definitely not taking them lightly. I think the uh, the challenge is actually going to be more or less in our mentality. Can we stay focused and you know be uh, consistent? You know, because a lot of time, you know, guys they'll hear the name like NIU and they'll come in and they'll underestimate them. But uh, you know, I feel I have a feeling we're not going to make that mistake. You know, we prepare very hard. Nothing ever changes in our preparation. The key to stopping Northern Illinois is to find a way to slow down Jordan Lynch, a player who's passed for over 2,000 yards and rushed for over 1,700. That may be easier said than done. We we've had a couple of those guys this year. We had Jeff Driscoll can throw and run the ball. We had Taj Boyd for Clemson that can and throw and run the ball. So uh, we're going to look at it. Um, as we play one of those guys, you know, it's a big game, it's an Orange Bowl, it's a BCS Bowl game, that's what, that's, that's where the goal is to get to this year. And we're going to take it one day at a time and practice one day at a time, just go in there and game plan and get ready for the Northern Illinois. You know, we've got a lot of practice during the season with this type of quarterback and stuff like that. And, you know, like, like I said, we're just going out there looking forward to him playing, him doing his thing. He's going to run, he's going to try and make passes and stuff like that. We just got to stick with our stuff and, and, you know, stick with our defense, and I think we'll be great. So he's the best guy on the field. He uh, could be one of the best guys in the country. So we just got to, you know, play our game, stick with it, and, you know, fo not, not put all our focus on him, but focus on him enough so he's not a, a changing factor in the game on that, going that way. He's a powerful guy. He doesn't really run. He's, he's athletic, but he actually lowers his shoulders a lot more than a lot of the other scramble kind of quarterbacks we've made. And they have a lot of design runs for him, so we're going to probably focus in on that. Make sure you stay with us here at Seminoles.com for complete game coverage of the 2013 Discover Orange Bowl, Florida State, and Northern Illinois. We have you covered on Facebook, Twitter, and Seminoles.com. Then you can head into the Seminole locker room for complete post-game coverage as Florida State and Northern Illinois battle for the 2013 Discover Orange Bowl. Seminoles.com forward slash game day is your home for complete game coverage. From Miami Beach, I'm Ryan Pincy for Seminoles.com.